Crafters, this is Colette. It's that time of year again, the 2017-18 Design Team Call for Kaisercraft. As you know, I've been with this company for many, many years and I would so love to be with them for another year. They sent me these beautiful papers from the Lilac Whispers collection and I need to create something very special with them to submit my entry for this Design Team Call. So let's have a look at what I've done. So for my full fold card, I've got a piece of 12 inches by 6 inches of premium white cardstock from Kaisercraft. And I'm going to score that at quarter of an inch, three and three quarters of an inch, seven and a quarter of an inch, and finally seven and a half inches. So with our folds, the very first quarter inch line is a valley fold. The next one is a mountain fold and then we have two mountain folds. And that creates our fold, four fold card. One, two, three. But we have an extra piece to put on here. So what we're going to do to this little fold here, we're going to put some double sided adhesive onto the actual fold itself. And to that, I am going to attach a three inch by four and a quarter inch piece of premium white cardstock from Kaisercraft. And then this little lip that's left here at the top with your sticky tape on, I'm just going to cut that away. And that forms our four fold card. One, two, three and four. So we have the four pieces here ready to decorate with that beautiful, beautiful collection from Kaisercraft. First layer, second, third, and fourth, the four fold card. 
Now I've made this a little bit special because it is a design team call and what I've done inside here I've made a beautiful pocket and I have popped into that pocket that beautiful little cube which is so much fun. It collapses and it just slips into the pocket to give the person who is popping it out a really fun surprise. So let me show you how I make the cube. Now on my template you'll see some dashes. Those dashes you will fold as valley folds. The actual dash and the cross you will fold as mountain folds. So the dash and the cross, mountain folds, and the dashes are actually fold as valley folds. You'll also see that we have some dots. Those dots, you will punch out a hole, and then the little lines beside them, you will actually cut into them because we need to actually encase an elastic band in here and that enables the elastic band to sit into the circle without pushing out when pressure is applied. So here's my popping cube template all cut out and what I've done here you'll see that we need to put tape on the reverse so I've actually gone ahead and put some tape on the reverse of this one and also on the reverse of that. And on the other template, or the other side, I've done exactly the same. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. This says here it's the A section and it's tape on the reverse, which I've got. So this is section A. I'm just removing that tape. Now what I need to do on this other one is to find out the template A which is here and I am going to position this to this just like that as my first join for my popping cube. Okay so flipping this over I now have B tape and I have a B here. So I am going to remove my tape from here. Sometimes I wish my nails would just grow a little bit longer. I'm sure you know exactly what I mean. So I'll move to the other end because I've botched that end up. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. So I've taken the backing of my tape off and I'm going to engage that over here with the B. Okay, sticking that down. Right, looks a bit crazy, I know. So the next thing we're going to do, because I've actually folded it mountains and valleys as I explained earlier, it's pretty straightforward. This is a little band and the band needs to be about three fingers wide. If it can be a little bit smaller, that would be great because you'll find that it will pop beautifully when it's pulled out. I only had these bands with me at the moment, so they're three fingers wide. Let's get them a little bit smaller, a little bit, bit more tension, and then you'd have a great cube. But I'm using this one because that's all I have. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to pop this into those two holes, just like that. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side, popping them into the two holes like that. So my band is there in the middle. Now all I need to do is to pull away the remainder of the double-sided tape that we put down earlier. So there are two pieces. Mm, 
Don't you hate it when it doesn't come away? It's very late at night. In fact, it's actually half past 12 in the morning. It's a crazy time to be doing a video on YouTube, isn't it? But sometimes life is just so full, you've just got to take every single minute and make the most of it. Now this little monkey is not coming away. So I'm just going to push the tape down even more and hopefully, yes, it comes away. So now what I need to do is I need to form my little square. Can you see that? And I'm going to fold one side down like that. Mm, not such a good job there guys. So pushing that down. That's better. And then the same on that other side. Just pushing that down like that. Okay, so now I have my cube. So now going back to my Lilac Whispers cube, you can see folding in, that's how it sits nice and flat inside my card with this gorgeous little ribbon just to pull it up and down and then when it pops out, it pops into this beautiful, beautiful cube. Isn't that fun? I love it. And that little cube will sit nicely inside the pocket that I have made for this particular card. Just love it. Such a pretty, pretty card. So for the pocket for the cube, I've simply cut a piece of paper which is four and a half by five and a half inches long and I've scored it on three sides at quarter of an inch and half an inch. Quarter of an inch and half an inch. Again, quarter of an inch and half an inch. So I have applied tape on the three sides and I'm just now going to go ahead and fold them. So first of all, it is going to be a, on the inside one, a mountain fold, then a valley fold. I'm going to do that on all three sides. Mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold and valley fold. Now, what I want to do is I want to cut away the corners of those score lines. Excellent. And then I'm going to peel away that tape. Now, what will happen is you'll see there's just a little bit of a, um, and that's fine, you just fold that over, join that up, and then that's what you actually stick down onto your card to form your pocket. So you can see it's got a bit of room for something dimensional to sit inside of that. So looking at my card, you can see here this is where my pocket fold is, this is my actual pocket, and this is where my, I guess, dimensional little card will actually sit, or my little cube will sit. So that's just going to pop back into there, and that's my gorgeous little card all done, ready to give to a very special person with a lovely little pop-up cube surprise inside. I hope you've liked my video. My name is Colette. Keep fingers and toes crossed that I do get into the Kaisercraft design team for next year. I really would love to bring you so many more goodies with their beautiful, beautiful products. You know how much I love them. They're just fabulous. Just love playing with their products. So 
keep fingers crossed. My name's Colette. Thank you for watching today. Until next time, bye for now.